Hello YouTube, this is Andrew here. I thought I might show you something I've been doing recently, which is how to play whole DOS games on Linux. Now the first thing you want to do, first thing that you want to do is go into your software manager. <coughs> in this case I'm doing this in um Linux Mint 17.1 Cinnamon 64 bits um, which should be should tell you the details just in uh, system monitor I think and that's where I just was wasn't I um, settings So, info, yeah. So, this is in Linux Mint 17.1 Cinnamon 64 bit. This is a version of Cinnamon here 2.4.6. This is this is the kernel, and um, I'm doing it, doing it on my Dell, Dell XPS 13 um, processor RAM. This is a. I have this as a dual booting machine, so I just have a 26.7 sort of gigs for the uh, for for Linux partitions. Anyway, what you want to do first is download DOSBox. Here it is. Here, just download that one. Double click on that, then press and press install. And uh, <coughs> so here is DOSBox here. So if I'll just go into full screen mode. As you can see, uh, the first first line tells you some details about the sound sound settings. So it's Sound Blaster. And the address is two is two twenty. Then it has four more numbers which are for the rest of the sound details and the uh, second line here shows you I have the folders where I have my DOS game saved as has been mounted straight away um, and you can and feel free in Google how to do that yourself it's very simple to use and I'm, I'm very, it's very simple to do I'm sure you are bound to find it yourself and if not, just feel free to post a comment and I'll go ahead and tell you how to. So, so, we, so we change to the C drive. Um, because this is DOS and it's a, uh, a sort of Microsoft sort of product, uh, well, it's DOS box, but same thing as DOS, pre same thing as DOS pretty much. Um, it has to have a C drive for it to work properly and that's why we have mounted the games folder as a C drive. Now if we type in dir, it gives you a list of the folders and files. So I'm going to show you, show you Warcraft 1. So CD war C A C R A the little squiggly, um, squiggly line thing. I forget what it's called but you know I'm, I'm sure you know so just you know, it's okay. Then war dot exe. So there we go. We are now playing Warcraft One. So I'm going to load a game, single player. So I'm playing as a humans here. This is a, a peasant making move over here. Yes. And he moves as he likes. I can make him go and harvest yes. some trees. So I can build all the uh, important things like houses and farms and places to train 
of some soldier guys like these guys here. I can then go and select. Unfortunately, the maximum is four, so just moving around. Yes. This here is a mini map, so as you can see, I'll, I've cleared the whole thing. So, this is where you train some more guys. Unfortunately, I am using the most I can get from the farms I have because this is this is the first mission and the uh, and and the objective in, in and and the objective in this first mission is to build six farms and build a barracks to train more of these sort of footmen guys to go fight off the baddies. So there you go. Um, if I press on menu and quit I quit the DOS and he goes back in a DOS box in the command line if I type oh yeah by the way just hold alt and press enter and it goes back into the windows mode sorry into the windowed mode which is useful so full screen windowed if you type it just exit press enter it closes it for you and uh, <coughs> oh wait, uh, downloads, DOS games. Um, so yeah, I have I have a few games here. I have the first Doom game here as well, which works fine too. Um, I've Discworld, that works fine too. Um, um. I have a great game as well that came out in the early 90s. It's called Little Big. It's called it. It's called Little Big Adventure, made by um, a French company, and I have the CD, so I have ripped that into a dot, a, into a dot ISO file. And ripping CDs is a great way to go because it saves you having to have a physical media. So, how you rip CDs pretty much is you just uh, type in dd space if and equals um, backslash dev backslash cd then of and the file path and file name of where you want to save. The save a dot i a dot i so file, and uh, it should take a sort of minute or two or three or I don't know a short time, but not very long, and that saves it as a CD, but sort of minus having the CD, and that can be mounted in DOSBox as well. Like for example, if I just change, if I just type in this exactly. So first image mount then D for the D drive which is a CD-ROM drive if you have Windows. Then just uh, backslash home name which is my name because that is a name of the user of the user folder then downloads backslash DOS games Backslash a d l l i n e dot i s o then f then dot then and then I, and then i s o as well. I'm not sure what these two last things do exactly, but you need it for it to work. Uh, okay, it says this, I've typed this in wrong, obviously. Um, a d e line. Is this correct? Image mount D home Andrew downloads DOS games. I don't know why it's not working. A D E line. So yeah, you ha you have to type this in exactly for it to work. Otherwise, it won't work. Maybe if I just 
Okay then. <coughs> Image mount D home. This is the correct one. Home Andrew downloads DOS games. This should work. Maybe I'm typing it wrong. I was sorry. It's dash then T I S O. Ah, okay. Yep, there we go. See, if you have things so sort of capital or not, that does make a difference. So that's the thing about DOS. You have to type it in right for it to work. So change to the C drive, then we want to go into into LBA1, which is a folder for the game. Ah, oh, see, if I type it wrong, it won't work. LBA1, there we go. There we go. Now this game, I remember playing a long time ago as a teenager it came out in in the 90s in 93 and 94 possibly and it's a great game because because everything is pre-rendered so if I just play that game and there we go it's quite a a sort, sort it's quite advanced for its time um, in the 90s. If I go, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Be up this bloody elephant. Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay. That's fine. Anyway, I think you get the idea. So, if you have any questions about how to change resolution in DOSBox or how to make the config file, which is where you change all of the sort of defaults, just write a comment and I shall go and reply to me. I'm um, sorry, you, or just go and do some Googling and. Uh, Thank you for listening.